Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today. And today, I'm going to be doing my college football week seven uh, top 25 predictions. I do this every week before uh, Sunday, late Saturday night. I go over what I think the new top 25 will look like going into the next week, as every Sunday, you see the new top 25 get released. Um, getting into it, I I usually switch it up from time to time. I go from sometimes I go from 25 to 1, sometimes I go from 1 to 25. And this time I've decided I want to go, um, we're going to go from 25 to 1. I think last week I went from 1 to 25. All right, starting off with 25, I have it being Air Force. I can't remember the last time Air Force was ranked, but they're 5-0, and and they just won 49-10 to against San Diego State. Um, I think they should get in because they're 5-0, and and they've been playing some good football against some solid teams. At 24, I have Wisconsin. They're non-ranked. I believe they're 4-1 or 5-1, or something like that. They just won against Rutgers, 24-13. And then Tulane. They're non-ranked as well. Um, now, they were ranked, I think, week two, week three, something like that. There was week two they were ranked. They did have the bye this week. They're 4-1. and one. Their only loss comes against Ole Miss, who I have being 15 in the rankings. They're 16 uh, in, the, in last week's rankings. Um, so if their only loss comes to a team that is in the top 15 and not only in, are, is the team that they lost to in the top 15, um, but not, not only that, but also the fact that they were without their starting quarterback when they lost to Ole Miss, I believe Tul Tulane deserves to be back in the top 25 with some teams losing this week. At 22, I have uh, LSU. LSU was previously 23. They won 49-39 to against Missouri with a 15-point uh, deficit that they overcome, that they would overcome in this game. 21, I have Notre Dame. They lost this week to Louisville. Uh, they lost 33-20. to And, um, yeah, I mean, I think that uh, Notre Dame will take a, a, you know, with this being their second loss, they'll take a little bit of a jump down. But, um, yeah, yeah. At 20, I have Tennessee jumping up two spots. Previously at 22, they didn't even play this week. They had the bye. Uh, but with so many teams losing the top 25 this week, there are going to be some teams that jump up two spots or so uh, just because of the fact that um, just because the fact that um, so many teams lost this week. Even if you're by, you might jump up a spot or two. Um, then at 19, I have Washington State. They lost. They're previously 13. They lost to UCLA uh, of a score of um, 25 to 25 to 17 18 i have jumping up one spot i have uh previously 19 duke who had the bye after losing to notre dame last week um 17 i have ucla previously non-ranked but won against number 13 washington state uh 25 to 17 16 i have utah previously 18 they had the bye this week 15 i have ole miss previously 16 120 127 to 20 against Arkansas. Uh, 14, I have Oregon State, previously 15, 152 to 40 against California. 13, I have Louisville, previously 25, 133 to 20 against number 10, Notre Dame. 12, North Carolina, previously 14, 140 to 14 against Syracuse at home. Um, number 11, I have USC. Um, they were previously nine. And I have, um, I have, uh, they, they just won an overtime 43 to 41 against Arizona. They nearly lost, which would probably would have kissed their, you know, would have kissed their national championship season goodbye. At 10, jumping up one spot, I have Alabama. Um, I have Alabama jumping up one spot after winning a 26 to 20 against Texas A&M. Here's how I feel. USC has had so many close games this season so far. And I know Alabama's had close games but from what I've noticed from Alabama, I feel like Alabama, as of right now, is a better team, um, is a better team than uh, USC. Number nine, I have it being Texas, who pre was previously three, lost to Oklahoma, number twelve Oklahoma, thirty five to thirty, um, sorry, th thirty four to thirty. Uh, number eight, staying at eight, Oregon, they had the bye. Number seven, staying at seven, Washington, they had the bye. Number six. Uh, staying at number six, Penn State, uh, they had the bye. Uh, number five, staying at number five, Florida State, they won 39 to 17 against Virginia Tech. Number four, staying at number four, Ohio State, won 37 to 17 against an unbeaten Maryland. Uh, number three, 
jumping up nine spots. Um, Oklahoma, who just won 34 to 30 against number three, Texas. Number two, staying at number two, Michigan, just won 52 to 10 against Minnesota. Number one, Georgia, um, staying at number one, uh, won 51 to 13 against number 20, Kentucky. Um, so Georgia, who has struggled against te- other teams who have, you know, been non ranked, which Kentucky was ranked today. Um, but they have struggled against some solid teams like Auburn and South Carolina. And now they match up against Kentucky and just look like the Georgia team they're supposed to look like. So maybe we finally seen uh, the Georgia Bulldogs start to get it together. But yeah, Yuzumar, your thoughts on my top 25 predictions for week seven. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed and peace out.